Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. This one is called, I have come to the realization that Jamaica is an uncivilized, barbaric society. I have come to the realization that a certain set of people should be put in a specific zone by themselves. Meaning the granny, the grandfather, the mama, the papa, the picnic, the neighbor. Them supposed to be kept in a some sorts of cave, some sorts of secluded section away from the rest of us. Decent, law-abiding citizens of Jamaica. Because we and them should not be living in the same space. We should not be sharing the same ear, the same neighborhood. They are a different subset of human being. And by sub, I mean that literally below human, wild animal, wildebeest. So in the start, there are two videos. The first video that I showed you, maybe about five seconds or so. You saw a mother walking with some sorts of metal spoon or spatula. Some sorts of kitchen utensil and then there was a little youth behind her, beside her. And he was saying, we are going to get her because she be USS up with Sister Ed. So therefore we decided that we are going to get some sorts of re revenge, instant reprisal. Now people like me say, because of YouTube's policy, I cannot show it because children are picnic involved. So therefore, it is going to go against their protocol. So this mother, along with her son and other members in the community, don't know if they are extended family, I don't know if a cousin and niece or whoever, they decided that they were going to rush this other little picnic because she clawed clawed up for them picnic, obviously B-U-S-S up her head. Now people, I have not seen that part, cannot put into context who initiated it. This other picnic might have done something very badly. However, when you live in a community, or you live anywhere, picnic and picnic always are getting a conflict. Yes, I am not saying that it is right for one picnic of the same age, for B-U-S-S up or B-U-L-L-Y, any other picnic and cause any sorts of injury, especially make them B-L-E-E-D up. So I am saying that it is wrong. Maybe this lady or this other little picnic did something that was very despicable. Cannot say, however, just based on what they must say. My point is this. If two picnic have a problem, and then the whole family of the side that lost, I get clawed up at first initially. Decide that everybody I got G A N G up this little girl and people when me say everybody, me mean say everybody in the community. Who was not clotting her up? Who never a S T O M P I give Mike Tyson J J S O M M A. They were just watching. Nobody to part. Nobody to say stop. Nobody to ease off anybody. It is either they were equal participant or they were cheerleaders. Nobody to pretty much defuse the whole situation. On top of all of the clotting that this little picnic get, it was only until them drag her and fling her like a rag doll and she eventually drop on the ground face first and lick up her head Obviously, B L E E D I N G, that is when they stop. As a matter of fact, the mother that you saw at the start, 
and the son, they were also a part of the clotting. The mother was pretty much rapid licking this little picnic in her head with the spatula or spoon or duchy, whatever them call it. So that was the first part of the video edited version. The second part of the video is when the popo obviously came. Don't know who called the popo, but you saw look like the mother in at the back of the popo jeep and she was throwing out her arm as if she was proud of her deed. And you heard people I say, if me get lock up, me I go get bail me, have who for bail me. So people, let me ask you a question. And this is if you're a decent, law-abiding, moral and ethical person. If you're a scumbag, as these people in this neighborhood are, obviously all of them and people, disclaimer once again. When I speak, I speak generally based on what I saw. I know that in most neighborhoods, most persons are good, decent people. However, when it comes to social media, it is the empty barrel, it is the low life, the SCUM bags that are always making the most noise, that are always causing all sorts of chaos in a society. So therefore, it is wrong for me to generalize. However, I am speaking in general terms. It does not apply to everybody. Who the cab fit, wear it. Whoever was involved whether participating or whether not stopping it, not diffusing the whole situation as an adult. You are an equal opportunity SCUM bag. So now people, when we think about what happened, me have to say to myself, then hold on a minute, where are these persons reasoning? Where is the moral? Where is the ethics in a society? Where is it that the children are supposed to be protected? So therefore, when you see the damn them doing their job, which is what they do, not saying that it is justified. And then you see the average civilian acting like some sorts of barbarian, barbaric. Then you have to wonder, this is why Jamaica is the way that it is. Because nobody knows any sorts of better and even those that know better. And then again, even if you go intervene and try to stop it, maybe you might also get a royal B-E-A-T down. So therefore, it's either you participate or you not say nothing or you just cheer along. People, I don't know what is going on in a Jamaica. The disturbing thing is that this is not the exception. This is the norm. Everybody have all sorts of anger management problem and people like them say. A lot of times it is in these garrisons like them say. Misery loves company. If people are living a miserable, pathetic life, not all the time because you can be poor, you can be living a very miserable life. However, you do not act as if or the way that these persons are acting. People may just say you have a different subset of people living amongst the decent, well-thinking people in a society. And people, it is sad. It is not supposed to be like this. These persons should be locked up in a some sorts of cave, in a some sorts of institution for their action. It is wrong. D-E-A-D -E wrong. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it seems as if if you have some sorts of diplomatic immunity, as in the case allegedly of Tony Ann Singh, she is the former Miss World. She is the girlfriend or ex-girlfriend of Popcorn. Don't know the status at this moment. Apparently, she was pulled over by the Popo in a some sort of gas station. Apparently, she was being chaperoned or being somebody in a some sort of ATV type vehicle was behind her making sure that she was safe. Don't know if it was Popcorn or his entourage coming from some sorts of airports. The Popo pulled them over. Don't know if the Popo knew that this is Popcorn's entourage or even Popcorn was there. Me not know the specifics. However, it seems as if there was some sorts of lipping between Mrs. Singh and the Popo. Don't know who initiated it. Don't know who was dissing. I am going to let you take a little take a look to this not so beautiful bean footage and then I am going to give my piece. 
She's a diplomat, my brother. She's not a diplomat. She never explained to you that she's a diplomat. Yes. She's a discipline. Yes, she is. She is, brother. Yes, she is. Yeah, brother. Brother, brother. My brother. I, officer. Okay. I understand you're feeling a great deal of emotion. Don't tell them all emotion. Oh, brother, you're talking to a diplomat. Talk to the man, but the diplomat, brother, is a diplomat you're talking to. Miss World, this man, I'm trying to uplift Santa Mass, man. How can what's going on here, brother? And there's a report about your conduct. And in the company, your phone. And how you're behaving. Let's be stripped of that diplomatic meeting. I'm not reminding you. What? Mr. Vincent, I feel you're just um, acting out with a lot of emotion, and I don't think that's the best way to act for law. I don't believe really that's the best way to act for law. Okay, sorry. Officer, you know you know it's a diplomat. So brother, address your your your, 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 your co worker. Which one of them, my dear? You're not yelling. You're not yelling. Brother, don't you understand what's a diplomat officer? So please address your officer now, brother. Uh, this is a diplomat situation here. I was escorted to meet with my grandmother and to enjoy some but I'm trying to uplift the community, brother. I was flown in here can, to for the Prime can, Minister. How can protests to get the, the tool done, brother, and get the tool done? How can I have um, a really face up there to uplift the community, brother? What is it we need to do to correct this? We need to know what is it we're doing wrong and what we need to do to make some adjustment so that we can, we can feel okay in St. Thomas. Uh, because it just it just started to feel like some something some indicted feelings going on something going on that we're not aware of or not sure of brother what you say my dear the black bag um now people like i said i am giving my opinion based on justice video don't know what start what cause it so therefore it is hard for me to put into context here's the reality these people, if somebody is a diplomat in a Jamaica, the poor poor is supposed to be fully aware. However, you say whenever you are a diplomat and then you're there on certain people in which the poor poor don't like, not saying that it is right, but we've realized of lately with this unruly fest that popcorn and the poor poor are live like puss and dog. So therefore, if the poor poor feel as if popcorn diss them at his face, and there was also some sorts of documentation, him claiming that he paid them up until 6 o'clock, so therefore the show should have gone on until 6 o'clock. And then that documentation was proven to be fraudulent, based on what the poor poor is saying. This is the harsh reality of Jamaica. Mrs. Singh, you as a nice little preppy girl, whenever you get in a any sorts of relationship with any sorts of dancehall artists, not saying that it is right, that diplomacy becomes less of royalty. That means that you regulate it to just an ex common C R I M I N A L friends. That is what the poor poor look at most dancehall artists as. Is it right? I am not going to say that it is right. However, that is the way that they preach. So therefore, you as a diplomat, as the poor poor say, not saying that he is right, you're in certain people's company. Your diplomacy or diplomatic immunity becomes less important or less significant to them because as far as the poor poor are saying, you are around criminal element not to say that it is right my point is this if you decide that you're going to pick up certain company not saying that anything is wrong with popcorn or he is doing anything criminal however you are judged from your past the fact that he was a part of the gaza the fact that the person that they hate the most in any dancehall artist in the history of jamaica is vibes cartel 
popcorn was Vibes Cartel son. So therefore there is always going to be belly being carried. And especially when there was a recent event as in Popcorn and Rolly Fest a couple of days ago, the 22nd of December, to be specific. When people are live like puss and dog, there is not going to be rational. There is not going to be any sorts of justice. People like me say, this lady should not have been treated like this because she was not saying anything wrong as far as I am concerned. And then when she go tell this officer that is in his feeling that he is acting emotional, he may go look at emotional as acting feminine, acting sensitive. They are always going to get in their feelings. At the end of the day, once you're in the company of a dancehall artist, you are going to have less rights. If you was in the company of some uptown people, the people my daddy are rob billions of dollars as in the SSL and the Silvera where I take away my wife, you have more immunity than the average person that not do nothing that is as despicable as these uptown criminals. Simple as that. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, Please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.